Me being a mother figure to your kids is something I bring to the Please, table. Please, green Me that. being your girlfriend is something I bring to the table. <laughs> okay. Me making sure you're okay, your business is doing good. I'm texting you. I'm be. I'm cons. I'm like you're consulting me. I am sending you prayer messages. What I bring to the table. I cannot give you money, honey. Mm. You are the one that will give me money. But what do I bring to the table? Please I tell us. Chloe, come on. Graduate in accounting. Okay. Mm-hmm. Accounting at you. Uh, hello. Aqua. Culture, okay. like a three degree, honey. I bring mm. a lot to the table. Come mm. on. Ordinarily, I think I can speak for most men. We do not see any issues with us providing for our wives, providing for our girlfriend. But when you start seeing it as a form of an entitlement, you know, entitlement that, oh, a man is supposed to be providing, providing this and providing that. And meanwhile, you women are re-evolving every year. Because if you start, you guys are re-evolving every year due to social changes, due to social media influence and uh, social media uh, teaching from these uh, online uh, relationship advisors. That we tell a lot of our girls, do not respect your man, do not do this, you are not supposed to be sweeping, you are not supposed to be cleaning, you are not supposed to be washing, it's closed, you are not supposed to be doing this and doing that. And yet you want man, men not to re-involve. The purpose of human is to re-involve. As the changes comes, you change along with it. But I am not sure that men, for the past few years, centuries, men have always been men. The duty of a man has always been the duty of a man since Adam. And we still keep to that culture of providing and uh, providing security and providing basic amenities for women. But women are slightly deviating from their duties. For example, only these women do wash their husband's clothes. But nowadays, woman will tell you because of technology, you should go and buy a, a washing machine. Those times, they do uh, pound the arm. But nowadays, technology, women will tell you because of technology, go and buy a pounding machine. They will fry food, but no, they, they don't want to get that bond, that splash of oil, hot oil. Go and get this deep fryer. Go and get this, go and get that, go and get this, go and get that. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. We keep getting all those stuff. We keep getting it good and fine. We keep getting it. But we men, why is it that we are still, over the years, centuries upon centuries, we have not re-involved. We have not transformed. So... The other day, that the priest gave a very nice advice. It's, it's about time men start demanding, start asking, start going and searching for a woman that they can also benefit from. Stop going to the gutter to pick up a girl who has nothing to offer except beauty. You know, it's about time. Leave these social media girls to be social media and let them come online to talk about what they can bring to the table. I am this, I am Chloe. Well, they are, thank God we have over 10 billion humans on, on, on this art and definitely, you must definitely find someone who will suit you. So people giving relationship advices, absolutely, absolutely nothing wrong with it. I see nothing wrong with people giving relationship advices. If you are picking offense, <laughs> my guy, like you said, should they do? There are 10 billion humans on heart. Definitely, you will find someone. Definitely. So, allow these relationship advisors to keep being there and uh, doing their stuff, telling you what to do and what not to do, advising our guests wrongly. It all started with Big Brother and Agile. Now, advices, all those things, going just to come up and uh, discrediting men. Well, let's talk about that. And let's talk about Francis Valare. Well, you guys think this man is joking, Abby? 
Celebrating his 17 years old birthday, this green man decided to reveal the number of girls that he has slept with. In fact, he categorized them into badges. One, the girls who love doggy style. Two, the girls who love missionaries. So one badge, I think they're up to 60 girls, then the other badge up to uh, 30 girls, and the other one up to 60 girls as well. So total girls that he has revealed their name are like 150 or 150 something thereabouts, or even more than. Well, some of you, <laughs> you guys think this man is joking. He might not be joking. It might not be joking. Check out this message I got from this my guy. I don't think I'm fun. The guy they like your self year old man. She like every pay every day person in that person submit their name. It does a catch cruise that I mean that they are like seven year old man. The man they the man they do short there. Who they who they not they like your name that they make most Make sure that they join. How many get the dick start for self? Ah, SK Olu, SK Olu, don't talk more. Man, there are some psychopaths out there. Don't the same way a psychopath will tell you exactly where he buried body put and how many people in dog by. There are some psychopaths when it comes to sexuality. They will not this one and they will go to their diary. They have a diary and they will write the name of that person. Not the other one, write the name of that person. Not the other one, write the name of that person. And this man is revealing photos. Photos currently. Revealing photos. And you guys still think this man is joking. He might be 70 years old, but he's not bluffing. Release some names and please, eh? I want this man to release their photos because this man might have a sickness, might have some sickness, and uh, your babe might be among you. Are watching me now, but your babe be among that list. I'm still trying to check the list. I've seen some names that are similar. Well, I'm still doubting it. I've even seen some names that are similar to people close to me, but I don't think. Is then because we have a lot of girls in uh, in Nigeria. So if you are there, please indicate so that we can start uh, discussing and know the way forward. That's if you are there. If your name was mentioned and you know the man, indicate now so that we can have a way to check if you were uh, infected with any sickness. And one of those ladies that was. Uh, that was with the man recently. Her name is Chichi. Well, Chichi tried to play her name. She wrote on her Twitter, she said, Mr. Francis posted his supposed list. Didn't even mention my name or posted any of my picture alongside. But blogs did their normal thing. Went to his page to dig out a very casual picture of me and, and of him and I merged it with his list and started spreading it to create an agenda. It's all fun and cruise until you get sued. That's coming from my chi Then uh, and she also shared a message to prove that yes, herself and Francis indeed never had any entanglement. Francis told her, of course, I remember you lost your number, but we'll save it now. Please ignore those bloggers looking for traffic. How can Francis say we sh they should ignore bloggers looking for traffic? You were the one that posted uh, uh, names of girls that you have knocked. And uh, despite Chi Chi doesn't have anything to do with Francis, well, Chichi can be excused because she, she never knew who Francis was. I don't know, you know. Less of nowadays, we tell you they don't do something. And meanwhile, it's between them and God and the and the, and, and the supposed person they did that thing with. So since Chichi say no do anything, that's not even my concern. My own concern is that is it possible for this man to have knocked so many girls like that and also recorded it? We have a lot of Lagos guys, eh? 
a lot of Lagos guys that have not so many girls. See, do reason now. 150 girls, there are some guys eh, that can knock 100 to 200 girls in a year. In six months in Lagos, I I, I swear, I know of a guy. You know so many now. Then they spread them around. There's one guy said that knocked the 30 times in a month. And the guy who vlogged about it. The guy vlogged about it. Knock 13 times in a month. And he vlogged about it that he was now having pain. Check it out. This picture is an ultrasound scan of my so roughly two weeks ago, I started developing pain in my groin area. But me, I know they use Brokos Mata place, so two seconds I go to hospital. After undergoing a series of tests, they found out that I did not have any form of infection. So what could be causing the pain? The urologist then took me to the scanning room so they can take a much more closer look at the situation. But you will not believe what they found. The doctor first shouts, he said, bro, how many times exactly do you have s in a month? And I was like, I don't know, a couple times. It's like, bro, from what I'm seeing, this is more than just a couple times. So apparently, my epididymis, which is a tube that holds spread, was sore not from infection but from having to work so much in so little time and also as a result of the constant jiggy 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 i had little little traumas all around my reproductive organ and as if all that was not bad enough the doctor then said i was beginning to develop varicocil meaning the veins around that area were becoming dilated but then he said the good news is i won't be able to have for just three weeks but then the bad news is the only treatment for varicocil is surgery me i was like ah it was three weeks ah organa that won't be the bad news too. the sweet thing is that there was a young medicine student that was watching as they were scanning my john thomas before you know i think they'll bracket me outside as we they come out she don't even call my number as if uh, you know you know to cut the long story short the day for the surgery came and it took about just three hours i entered the theater like an odogu and i left like an odogu and in two weeks time i should be back in business the moral of the story is don't knock 30 times a week thanks for watching and please follow me for more content like this Some people who can knock above 30 times a week. 30 times a week. Ah! Oh. That means this guy knock it 30 times a week. 30 times times uh, times one month. That's about uh, 120. If this guy do that continuously for three months, that's 0, 06. That is 360 for three months. So it already passed that man at least. Ah, wow. I pray. I think this should be a prayer. Just, uh, between uh, both for men and women, I pray, pray your future partner may not be a lotion. They don't be game, they don't knock, 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 knock. Or guys, or guys make it don't knock, 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 knock too much. They want you, the person who can settle down based on saying, oh, not if they get again, you can settle down. God forbid. God forbid.